Okay, more, more comments to respond to. Um, so this one's interesting. This is about um, Barushnikov. Uh, you know, I think many of us have seen, and if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. Uh, there's footage of him. It's from a documentary, a Soviet documentary, where he's 16 years old and he's in class and he's doing jumps and different things. And of course, I watched it a long time ago, didn't notice anything, and then I watched it maybe a couple of few years ago, and then I just noticed everything. And I'll only point out one thing, but so the question or the comment was about his core, like things that his body stayed absolutely still when he moved. This is true. Same with his classmates to some extent, but he was really sorted out, you know. <clears throat> but even so, the body was still, you would see when he would do assemblée or certain jumps, when he would land, one of his heels would pop up. I think it was his left. Whereas when he did on the right, the heel stayed down. So there was some lack of symmetry there. And, and then, of course, later in life, 20 years later, he had to have surgery on that leg. It was the left one. I think it was the left one. I don't remember exactly. But whichever one the heel was popping, that's the one he needed surgery on. So you see when he's 16, you can see how that set him up for having to deal with things later. And... So, you know, it's, I get this question, okay, so I answered it and said what I just told you, basically. And then she said, so even someone like Barushnikov, you know, trained by the wizard, their word, Pushkin, was also making mistakes and implementing incorrect technique practices. So they're asking me, did Pushkin make mistakes? No, that's not the way to look at it. That's not the way to look at it. It isn't a question of mistake making or not implementing correct technique. Here's what this is. Number one, Pushkin had a whole class of people to deal with, and each person's individual. Each person has their own thing. And he was a finishing teacher. Now, you've got to remember that Barishnikov came from another school as a young person. And even in that, I wouldn't say they made mistakes. It's that our bodies, this is such a foreign concept for our body to absorb right? Turn out. It's so foreign to us because when you turn out the legs from the hips, it affects your whole body and you have to make all of these changes. You know, it, it, ballet training is a redesign of the human body from the hips and the hips is where our, all of our movement basically originates from or, or initiates from. So it's not that they made mistakes, it's that To correct something like these little little hiccups that you see, you have to do it one-on-one. -on -one, and you have to do it one-on-one -on -one for some period of time. Like it, it just takes tremendous energy to get every single little hiccup out of a person's technique. And even when you do, you know, the body is so, it's just, we're so imperfect. And that's why I don't like to use perfection as, as any kind of measuring tool because you're just never going to get that. It's, it's, it's levels of precision and that, and look, you know, we live in a world and we have to deal with things the best that we can. We, we, we can't put unrealistic expectations on people and go, well, you know, he had a little bit of a heel thing and so therefore Pushkin did it wrong. No, no, no. I was not alive then, right? And I was not in that situation. So who knows what happened, you know? Maybe Pushkin got, got on his case about it and it just, his body just wouldn't do it. He didn't have enough time concerned with other bigger issues, maybe, with his technique. And ultimately, again, Pushkin was there as a finishing teacher. Pushkin, at least at that time, didn't teach children. I don't think he even taught the middle years, adolescent. He was a finishing teacher, like Vaganova, finishing teacher. So it's, it was in some ways, it is his job to pick up those things, but n not maybe as a first priority. He's there to take the training that these kids had and get them ready for the theater, okay? So his, the finishing teacher it's, it be, is more about combinations and getting them to dance, to use their preparation to dance. And of course, he gave corrections when he did. And even in, the, in this documentary, he, in Russian obviously, he is pointing out their mistakes, I guess you want to call that, the, the issues with each kid's body who's in the film at the moment, and Barishikov had some, right? So he knew what he was looking at, it's just, you can only, 
solve as much as you can given the constraints of your life. You know, he had what a couple hours a day with these with a whole class of, of people. So, you know, look. It's it's science, it's tough work, you know, and so I think that's what that is. So that that should answer the question, I hope. <laughs>